Supreme Court, Lady Justice Mother Kome, the Deputy Chief Justice, the Honorable Attorney General, Speaker of the National Assembly, all our judicial officers, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Your Excellency, I'm also happy to be here. Are you alone? The Honorable Chief Justice said that uh, <clears throat> she has not seen the Prime Cabinet Minister here before. Lady Chief Justice, I've been around your courtrooms for a while in different circumstances. <laughs> and I say that uh, there is God in heaven. That today, <laughs> in totally different circumstances, I was having tea in the office of the Chief Justice and being taken around by the Deputy Chief Justice. Your Excellency, the independence of our judiciary cannot be overemphasized. As our leader, as our president, you have told all of us repeatedly that your administration has a commitment to strengthen and protect independent institutions starting with the judiciary. And you are policy direction to all of us, those of us who work under you has been understood clearly and is being implemented. You have told us that you want the strengthening of independent institutions to form part of your legacy. And I want to assure our judicial officers seated here today in the Ruto administration, none of us, not the president, not I, not those below us will ever take a telephone and ask you to determine a matter, a matter either way or another. That will not happen. And if you come across anybody purporting to speak for the president, tell them to get you something in writing. And they are not. And if they insist and they persist, look for me, then I will sort it out. We must have an independent judiciary for our country because it is healthy. Your Excellency, I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the people of Kenya to salute the judiciary for having stopped the BBI on its tracks. It was a terrible scheme against the people of Kenya. And all of us had given up. It was being taken down our throats. Everybody was being coerced. Everybody was being persecuted. Everybody was being bribed. But because we have an independent judiciary, all the way from the High Court to the Court of Appeal to the Supreme Court, the Kenyan state was preserved through prudent judicial discretion. On behalf of the people of Kenya, we want to say thank you to the judiciary. We, didn't, we don't know what we would have done because these people were determined. And therefore, we want to assure you of our continued support. And I want to confirm here today that the president, our boss, in his wisdom, has placed the function of coordinating independent offices and constitutional commissions in my office not for the purpose of interfering with whatever you do but for the very purpose of providing a facilitative and supportive role to your work by intervening where you need intervention in the treasury and elsewhere in government because the president wants the independent institutions to be facilitated and supported and once we do that, I think we'll be able to have a good country that is managed by respect for the rule of law. For officers and us, under the president, for the avoidance of doubt. Because it's important, sometimes people mis make mistakes without knowing. I want to confirm to you that the president has directed that this country will be governed through strict compliance to the rule of law. 
and we want to advise officers that you shouldn't under any circumstances obey and love orders and if you decide to obey them you are on your own there will be nobody to give you cover this is a country that will be governed through the rule of law and strict compliance with the constitution and that is the policy direction from our president and all of us are complying without further ado it is now my privilege and honor to ask you to be outstanding as we invite the president of the republic of kenya dr william samuel ruto mr president 